Hello. So while we were in Japan, we ended up buying a lot of the different Kit Kats. And I'm going to show you some of the ones that I brought back from our trip. Um, the first one is the matcha, which is green tea Kit Kat. And you can find these at any Asian um, markets most of the time here in the States. I'm not going to try this one because I already ate a bunch of them. But it really does taste like green tea. And then we have this... Um, it's a... Guy. Oh yeah, it's a chili. It's like a regular Kit Kat but with chili. This is one of the special flavors that they have at the Kit Kat store in Japan. And you can only get them there. Um, it comes in a little small box of six pieces. So I don't really have a lot of these left. Um, this one tastes exactly like the regular American Kit Kat. But it does have a little kick of chili at the end. Um, it wasn't my favorite just because I don't eat chili as much. But you might like it. And then another one that's from the special collection was this orange cocktail and again this one comes in the little box of six and I'm actually gonna open this one we don't have this flavor here in America um, also I have had it before just I didn't bring back the boxes or the bags just because we thought it would be easier to bring them just individually um, This one tastes like one of those chocolate oranges. I'm not sure if you guys have seen those before, but they're um, just chocolate, but they taste like orange when you smash them. This tastes exactly the same. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, I also bought this strawberry cheesecake, and it has um, Mount Fuji and the little like the signs. These are really good. They look like this. And they're supposed to be strawberry cheesecake. And you can, it smells cheesy. A little bit of strawberry, but mainly cheesy. These I have only tried one time before with a couple of friends. So, I didn't really remember what these tasted like. But they're really good. Mm. I also have this um, cherry blossom and green tea, which is like sakura with matcha. And sakura matcha. Um, I was looking for these the whole time we were in Japan, and I almost didn't bring some back, but we ended up finding them, so I was really excited. I have not tried these before, so. Let's see. There's only three of them in here. So these are so cute. And they're like pink wrapper with flowers. And then you could write a little message if you're going to give it to somebody. Um, and they're green. Just like um, the matcha ones. And these are really good. You taste? Very like, like sweet, but not too strong. Mm, I really like those. Mm, I'm sad. I only have two left now. We also got the Sublime um, Kit Kat. These are the raspberry. It's a raspberry flavor. I, I'm not really sure what these look like. I actually never opened these before. Okay, it's actually just one stick. I think we paid like four to six hundred yen for this. So let's see. Yeah. It looks like it's the darker, like the dark chocolate. Oh, you can really smell it. And this is really good. So, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it has like little raspberry filling inside. It's dark chocolate, but it tastes really good. Mm. Yeah, I'm too bad. It only comes with one. And they're only sold in Japan. Um, the last Kit Kat that we brought back are these bakeable Kit Kats. 
And I think they're supposed to be like vanilla pudding flavor. And you actually have to put them in the oven and cook them. Um, so I guess I'll do another video of cooking this one since you can't really eat it like this. But they're exciting. I think out of all the Kit Kat flavors that I tried while I was in Japan and here, I gotta say, I really like this raspberry one. I think that's my favorite. And then, of course, the Sakura Matcha. And my ultimate favorite, which is the, the Green Tea Matcha. I always like this, so I'm glad I could get this in the States. So that's it. These are all the Kit Kats that I brought back. And I hope you enjoy the video.